Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jaron Benton, a.k.a. Terrence Clemens. You rocking with Hip Hop DX on long side of my motherfucking little homeboy, Dizzy Wright. What it up? Should I give him the mic or should I just? Yeah, you could just kind of give me a little. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Oh, yeah, be, damn. Yeah. Just, yeah, I just hold it. <laughs> um, I was in Vegas. Um, my manager, Dame, he sent me the video. Um, he sent me a couple videos. The first video I checked out was Shut Up, Bitch. And um, I was rocking out. I've been rocking out since, dog. First video I seen from Dizzy was um, Dame sent me a shitload. It was like three of them. I think it was, um, damn, which one was the first one I watched? Dame can't trust him. It wasn't, I, it wasn't my ill mind? It wasn't like my ill, my Ill mind five? No. Nah. <laughs> it was K Trust Him. I was fucking with the song because I heard him he perform the fucking song in South by Southwest. And, and my homeboy, we was talking to each other. My homeboy Els is there. I was like, God damn, this nigga here going in. So when I saw the video, I was already familiar with the song. So I thought it was dope as fuck. And I saw Hops and the Swears, the shit. It was funny. As, oh, niggas. You can't get look at this, phones and shit on. The funny. Hey, get this for me, Dane. Just tell tell you know, make me look good. Uh. The shit that got me was in the video when Hobson got his fucking hair, his hair, cut his shit, and I'm fucking it up, but Hobson cut the nigga's hair, and the nigga's like, yo, yo, bro. Nigga sound like that. Nigga sound like, hey, it's like a little lamb. I love that video, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I was impressed when I saw the nigga in South by Southwest. That's why I was like, yo, they got a strong ass team. And that's why I was like, I, I gotta be over there. Yeah, you know what? That was important, man, because it'll 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 be fucking a shame to be on the label and everybody else ain't fucking coming with it. Just everybody just make you step your shit up, man, because everybody is solid. Everybody is fucking dope. Like I put money on it. I don't think nobody can fuck with our team bar for bar. Like, I'ma just say it. I remember Snoop said that shit on uh Rap City one time, we put a bet out there. I'm doing it too. Putting a million dollars, Dane's money. <laughs> yeah, no pressure at all. No pressure at all. I'm chilling. Um, Funk Volume is a platform for artists to be they sell. So, you know, hopefully Jaren could be in my position next year and we just keep it rocking. Just got in tune with the fans, you know. Hit the road, got on the road, um, traveled a lot, did a lot of shows. I stayed consistent with my music. I think just um, being on top of my shit, releasing a lot of content and um, making projects out of it and not just like dropping music. I kind of had a home for all the music, so it worked in my favor. Jared. Yeah, Jared. Snapped on that. Hello, it's the honey. Uh, the chain on my uh, head. Uh, stupid. Yeah, I was like, mother. I was like, I'm going to get the nigga next time. I was like, I'm going to get the nigga next time. I mean, we all, everybody just do their thing, but like, everybody just is consistent. It's like constantly getting better, I feel like. I just feel like, because now we all feed off of each other and like everybody's good with their words, but we all make each other step up. So, I mean, you just hear something. It's just like hearing somebody else that's talented and you like, yo, I got to step it up. It's the same thing. Man, shout out to Ms. Wright, man. Gotta love her. First, let me say this. I'm sorry to cut you off, man, on your interview. I'm going to say this. I'm going to let you finish. Look at this nigga's shoes, man. We got to get this shit. My nigga. That's that West Coast shit. I'm from the South. This type of shit we used to watch in, like, Boys in the Hood and goddamn yeah. Yeah, 
Menace of society, fit niggas with socks and house shoes. No. That's that West Coast shit. But anyway. Oh, go on. What? Go ahead on. I've been like this since I was young. Like my, I've, I've had worse songs when I was probably like 15 than I got now. Oh, shit. And my mom used to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> so stay used to it. The only thing I worry about now is endorsements. There's Rick Ross shit going on. So I'm like, God damn, they got him. If I happen to get an endorsement, shit, and it'll, and it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be, it'll suck to get that money and then get that shit pulled from me. So <laughs> next album gonna be on, I'm fucking probably gonna be a Christian rapper after that shit. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm, 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 I'm switching it up. The Rick Ross shit got a smooth. Yeah, they do. <laughs> then they did it to Lil Wayne, like he just said, beat the pussy up like Emmett Till. I know it was disrespectful to Emmett Till's family. I get it, but, and Rick Ross just said slip Lil Molly in a, you know, they were fucked up shits to say, but it wasn't like, yeah. like to the extreme. Yeah, so I'm like, imagining like, damn, my shit is, some of the shit I say is to the extreme. Yeah, like, cause I just think, you just think about like, oh, oh shit, you can't even hear me. Yeah. There you go, <laughs> we got you. You just think about old Eminem and shit, just like saying crazy shit, like just, ex just being outspoken, I guess, you know what I mean? But like, I don't know, I ain't saying it's right, you know, but I felt like, the punishment was like crazy on top, you know, like, God damn. And then I'm black too, so I can't do the same shit Eminem can do because he was white. Not not saying, you know, he's a fucking dope MC, white or black, but it is true certain shit he might can get away with it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with some of that shit. <laughs> Yeah, he still would have got dropped if he had a bad apology. But what, let me say what something his, on this. What was his first apology like? It, it was just nonchalant. It was a tweet that was basically said. Like, my bad? I'm sorry y'all took it that way. That yeah. But you know what's crazy, and I got to say this, is that hip-hop, we, we are in power. I know we got corporations that want to... Corporations come to us because we make your shit better. So if we really was smart, we could fucking switch that shit around. Like, you know what? Y'all pulling us? Well, don't fuck with, uh, uh, who was it, Reebok. So we just don't never just, fucking take our power. Just make that shit look lame. Like, you know, instead of empowering that shit, be like, make a clown a nigga. Like, nigga, you rockin' them Reeboks, nigga. Yeah. You know? And then the tables turn on them niggas. Now it's not even cool. Yeah, we you could fuck I mean? Reebok up if we, if we really wanted to. I mean, we gotta stop. We hip, we got a lot of fucking power and it, it, it we're not using the power that we got in hip-hop. Yeah, I definitely, I, I say so now, now so because um, the indie market is all through social media and the internet. And the labels now, I mean, they, they try, they, they're actually trying to use the methods of the, the independent, indie, yeah. yeah, of the independent label. Hell yeah, so hell yeah, I think it's very, very fucking shit. Look at Mac Miller and all the... Uh, Motherfucker just sold a shitload of CDs independent. Uh, Macklemore, I mean, they doing it, so that that they're setting the steps to do it. So Wiz yeah, did that shit. Wiz, hell yeah. Yeah. This shit happen. <laughs> I'm not sure. I've been I've been working, so I haven't been able to. No, I've been I've been to Atlanta once, but um. Atlanta is, a, is like a, is a tough market, like, there's so many artists, like, so many, there's so much, there's so much turn up out there, like, you know, like, he get love, what the fuck, he get love, you know what I'm saying, from like, what I've seen, but I don't get to see the full amount of love that the nigga probably really getting, because I'm not there, you feel me, I, I still, I live on the West Coast, so, but, yeah, the response is real nice. Response is always nice, yeah. Whenever we're in the same city. Yeah, same city. Whenever yeah. we're in the same city. Shows or like if we got meetings or uh, we videos, doing videos. Yeah. Usually just when we working. Like we only kick it when we working. But we always working. So we always running. Oh, yeah, definitely a family. It's small as hell, dog. 
Like we got a we got a squad, we got a tight squad. Uh, we all on the same page. We all like know what's going on. Ain't nobody out the loop. It's not one person that know a little more. Like everybody pretty much know what's going on. It's like a little family, a little family business. That's what it is. They gonna find. <laughs> <laughs> They gonna find out. This nigga's hair ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna find out. Jaren's real age. <laughs> they gonna see that shit sink in. Yeah. Now they gonna find out a lot. They gonna see the grind. They gonna see like, um, like we did a tour of 50 cities, just all of us grinding. Like I was at a smaller stage. Jaren was at a smaller stage. So to see the to be able to watch that and see where we're at, why they watch it, they are gonna be able to see the progress at the same time in real life. So it's not just gonna be some shit that's just out and them niggas used to be some shit. They get to still see the shit in action. So people get a chance to kind of catch on to the wave, you know? So it just make the shit like, just tight as fuck. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I'm not making no plans, you know. I know that I just like to be honest and um, outspoken and speak my mind. So, as long as I could do that on whatever. I like music, though. I just like making music, creating. I find enjoyment out of that. So, that's really what it's about. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at Kendrick, you know? Bitch don't kill my vibe, it's all over the radio. Like, it's 2013, bro. You know, two years ago, all I heard was the mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Like, you had to, like, you know, yeah. that's all it was. Like, bitch don't kill my vibe, is on the radio. I turn that shit up. I, that shit is, that's hip hop, man. So, like, it's possible now. Like, so doors are being opened up, you know, these older cats are starting to get behind some of these newer cats. You see, like, Joey Badass, DJ Premier on Joey yeah, Badass yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, God. Shit is getting gangster, dog. Shit is getting gangster. Shit is getting gangster. It's about to be tight. The game is making a change. I think, I think hip-hop is definitely in a good place, man. Uh, similar shit he said, man. You... You got artists like shit. I remember a minute ago when I was trying to get in the game. This one, snap music, was taking over in high school. Like, I'll never make it. <laughs> but now <laughs> the door open. Like my <laughs> my lane can get in. Like it, it's in a great place. I always thought it was. It, it's always been in a good place, man. It always go through phases. I think hip hop will always be in a good place, man. So I'm loving it right now. The lean line. Yo, I'm going to put it. Shit, should I put it out there? Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Some nights I'll be so fucked up, like just intoxicated. I, the, I'll be like Philippine guillotine, Ritalin. I'm actually saying it now, but it was like Philippine guillotine, Ritalin, Drizzling, Chizzling. I'm like, Diggling, Chickaling, Ringling, Tickling, Tickling, Diggling, 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 Tanks off Legos, Ring, Ring, Get a Motherfucker. Then, <laughs> I, was I, I can't remember that shit. That's why, man, I swear, I, I never, I used to never perform drunk, but once we start doing the tour, I start, start performing drunk, and I'm like, damn. So that's the secret. So they be clump too. I be <laughs> nigga, 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 Say if I have to do a show that's 35 minutes, like I went on tour and like my set was 40 minutes and I got off tour and then I headlined a show and my show was an hour and like I had no time to rehearse, I just had to add all my shit and I hadn't went over it a lot. That's the only time I really stumbled, like, but I couldn't even tell you a line because sometimes like, <laughs> you know, I be, I be getting paid too. I be getting paid and I 
I just be like, go to the next shit. <laughs> 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 I got it. I got a whole. Let me, let me just say something. I, I got that nigga's whole file. <laughs> and I'm going to leak it. So, it's coming out soon. I'm making. We, hey, that shit coming up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drop it probably like <laughs> good two weeks after my album. Exclusively on my website. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't heard shit from it. I'm waiting for it too. Like, I, I'll be texting a nigga, emailing him. DM on Twitter. I be sending them messages on Facebook, pretending to be other people and all kind of <laughs> shit. I want the album, dog. You know, I be cussing the nigga out. You know, but I don't know. We waiting too, man. Oh, yeah, it's us. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's important. Yeah, it's important. Fuck yeah. The shot. He dropped that album, nigga. We get the best for that album, because, you know, I'm going to be on it. Nah, yeah, man. Nah, it's really just important. important, man, because, like, he's created, he's opened these doors for us, you know what I'm saying? Like, this funk volume shit, you know, it's his shit. And, like, you know, we want him just to be as active as possible. And, you know, we, but, you know, people go through their own life situations, you know, behind this music shit. Niggas have a life, you feel me? So he gonna get it together, and when he do, it's just gonna be hard. It's not even gonna the weight. It's not even the weight ain't even gonna matter. You feel me? Nobody even gonna care about how long it took. As soon as it's out, he just gonna be bumping the shit, you know, waiting for the visuals and shit like that. So you know, we just wait. Fuck no, yeah, we tough on that yeah, nigga. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'll be on that nigga head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We tough on each other, I guess. Nah, nah, we tough on that nigga. Yeah, we, we tough on that nigga, hell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, he ain't tough on us, man. Yeah. Tough. 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 I'm gonna say something. This ain't got shit to do. It do have something to do with what we oh, talk. I was going to say this, though. Oh, shit. When you're talking about people that made, that waited so long with albums, man. Fucking Lord have mercy. Y'all probably don't know what the fuck that is. He used to be with Busta Rhymes, man. That nigga was so dope. Nice, like, when is this nigga ever gonna drop an album? And he never did. He probably did, but then I just didn't give a fuck. So, <laughs> you can wait too long and people can just, like, well, fuck it, I don't care no more. The only thing I'm scared about detox, I just, it's so much um, expectation for it. And I just don't want it to fall short of that. So I, I would rather him not even put it out. Because I don't want, I love Dr. Dre. That's somebody, that's like a legend. I don't want something that's not going to live up to the expectation to be the last shit I remember Dre from. So that's I'd rather real. him not that's even real, do it. But see, me, I got confidence in that nigga, dog. <laughs> I got confidence in that nigga, dog. <laughs> I tell you, nigga. He the nigga behind Kendrick, dog. He that nigga behind there just doing that little extra, uh on there, you know? Like, not saying that, you know, he makes Kendrick Lamar, fuck no. Like, but I'm just saying, like, that nigga great, like, you know, that nigga's great. I don't think he gonna put that shit out, though. I hope not. I don't think he is. He's bigger than rap, that shit. Yeah. That nigga bigger than rap, that nigga is, I got Dre headphones, nigga. Don't do yeah, it, Dre. Nigga, that nigga I ain't gotta put out no music. Man, I'm just waiting until I can get to an interview, like, Somebody interview just give me a free fucking headphones, man. <laughs> I'm just putting that out in case just niggas got headphones. Like, this nigga try to get that, that West Coast <laughs> <laughs> headphone come up. Now that's a different story. I think he can put out an album and it's fucking crazy. I really do think he can. Um, that nigga's hard. He's dope as fuck. Cause the shit, the little shit that he dropped, even when he rapped on it, is crazy. Like the he last shit he did. It. Yeah, the fucking Rick Ross shit, yeah. 16s. Nigga killed that shit, so he still got it in him. Like, it's not, I know if he puts some shit out, it, it's gonna be stupid. And plus, he in his own fucking world, so. Yeah. You don't even know what to expect from him, so there is no expectations. Yeah. You don't know what the fuck to expect from this guy, so it'll, it'll be dope. Because Outcast did some wild shit. Like, yeah. they got some pretty wild records, some like, you know, when he and the motherfucker with his shirt off and nigga died and his head permed out. And like, you know, just acting crazy, like, 
Caroline. <laughs> yeah. <it. Yeah. laughs> like you would never know. I would love to hear an album from that nigga. I would love it. Dre, Dr. Andre 3, 3K, man. Throw that fucking album out, man. I don't, I, I still, I feel like Dre still has it, but I remember Snoop Dogg saying something that was fucking a, 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 a real good fucking point. He don't have those same people or that people around him that help, you know, contribute to those chronic albums that we fucking love. So, and everybody might be on some different shit too. You just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah them niggas is, them niggas is bigger than that now. Dre, Snoop, like look at Snoop, Snoop Zion. Like he, he he bigger than that now. Them niggas is beyond just rapping. They accomplished that. They did that already. Like they did it on the biggest scale you could do it on, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's why they giving out. That's why they doing that extra shit. You know, cause they they bigger than that. It's like you know what? Oh no, you probably. It's like Prince. When Prince was with when Prince first started, it was Prince and the Revolution. That camp to me. Prince might fucking hate me for saying this, but to me, that camp, they was putting out the sickest shit. You can listen to anything Prince and the fucking revolution put out right now, and it's crazy. Even before he made Prince the Revolution, like, that shit crazy. But when he fucking wasn't around that same person, I guess he changed mentally and got around new energy. It wasn't the fucking same. It just, now nah, I ain't even, I love old school Prince versus new shit that Prince doing. So, I just don't want the shit to be like that, like. Dre put some shit out and it's like, damn, man. I'm still listening to the other chronic. I don't even listen to the new chronic shit. I don't want to do that, man. Right. Don't do it, man. You know what? It's different. I'm going to tell you why. And this is what makes Funk Volume dope. Is that everybody do their own shit and yeah. everybody in their own lane. I can't do what Dizzy do. You know, I probably can't even contribute to making the, I can contribute a verse or two, but I can't sit here and produce the, I, I'm not, same with Hobson, we all do, we all in different lanes, so it's not like we all working together on each other's projects, we just throwing verses and shit on there, but, yeah. but we're the ones that are, you know, making the sculpture, you know, it's not like I put a fucking piece here, he put a piece, he might just come in and just put a little color here, but that's yeah. what's so dope, we all doing our own thing, but, yeah. You know what, damn, you know what, it makes me think, damn, Prince was composing and doing his own shit too, so. <laughs> you talk yourself something. Damn. You just talk yourself something on camera. Well, fuck. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> damn. Wow. wow. Cut. Swizz, Swizz working on some shit. Swizz is a, Swizz threw a verse on my fucking album. He beasted the fuck out. So I'm, I'm waiting on Swizz and shit. Swizz working. He finna, he finna kill it. Like, Swizz got some shit. I don't know when it's coming out, but he got some shit. <clears throat> Swizz, man, Swizz is like, Swizz is his own man. You know what I'm saying? Because like he's one of like the co-founders and you know, he got, got out there and he built the fan base. He know that his fans aren't going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? But he's taking the time to make sure he right, make sure he ready for everything that he about to enter into, you know what I'm saying? And just get his shit right. So right now he back in the back, just working on his music and just doing his own little thing. And when he come, he just gonna start swinging hard, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. when he do come, it's gonna be, he gonna be ready. And everybody's gonna have to just get ready, you know what I'm saying? But it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing that we got fans waiting for artists, mm -hmm. you know? Waiting for our artists to come out with shit. And uh, we keeping them like, just going, you know what I'm saying? Just like, cause we got artists that's dropping shit, and then we got artists that's gonna be coming with the next shit, and then it's just gonna keep going, and then the shit just keeps building on its own. So people can expect greatness from Swiss.
It's crazy. It's so crazy to me, man, because like people on the internet be hating. Like I don't try to get all like I interact with my fans and shit, but I'm not like really in tune with like the internet world and shit like that because half of them them little fuckers on there talking shit be like 12 years old, you know, that's just strongly opinionated. You know, they watch all these videos, they think they know everything. They they think they know about the Illuminati and they, uh, you yeah. know, they just talking, so much talking and it's just like, behind the scenes, without them, there is no funk volume. I don't give a shit. It don't matter how good the rappers are. If you don't got that business behind, you don't got that business mind behind everything, the ones that tell you like, well, you gotta be able, the ones that keep you in shape, whip you, whip you in shape, because the shit get tiring. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like having somebody to just keep everything together, looking for new artists. Plus, like, Dane wasn't just the nigga behind the scenes. He was the merch nigga. He was the driver. He was the nigga that worked with the promoters. He was the nigga that got niggas towels backstage when they need, when they was sweating, water, like somebody gotta make that shit happen. Niggas got a little bigger. He the nigga that got a security guard for niggas to be safe. Niggas don't, somebody gotta be like that, you know? So when I be seeing niggas hating, I, that shit be irritating me. Cause I be like, niggas don't even know. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you got good rappers. You know how many fucking good rappers there are in the world? I mean, you gotta find them, nigga. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, so when you do, how can you get them niggas moving? How can you get all of them on the same page, on the same train, moving in one direction, but able to do their own thing? Everybody in the world trying to do that. Somebody gotta be able to keep that together. Who gonna do all the emailing? Who gonna talk to all the niggas? Who gonna book all the shows? Who gonna make sure the tours is good? Who gonna make sure everybody's safe? Who gonna make sure you got a little money in your pocket? Yeah, this is what we supposed to get, but you could just give us this for right now just so you good. The, everything, dog. You know, you need a nigga like that, dog. It's, it's somebody that's all about it, you feel me? That you can just work with, that don't, that's not in the club trying to pop the bottles trying to throw the money, trying to go dumb in that bitch, you know, and be the artist, you know, you need a nigga in the back just chilling with his backpack and his laptop, ready to talk to niggas, you know what I'm saying, so, my respect for Dame, I got more, I got the utmost respect for him, more than anybody, you know, so, I get irritated when niggas don't like him, you know, and that's just, that's how I feel, <laughs> you know. That was well said, man, by the way. Oh, thank you, That man. was well I fucking appreciate said. It. I got to say the same thing, man. Dame, a lot of people, uh, you see a lot of that fucking hating and shit, but they, and you can't, I can't even get mad at them. They just don't understand what goes, what, 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 what goes into putting together a business. And a lot of shit they say is just irrelevant. It's just little kids talking shit. But for me, the one thing people don't know about Dame is that he fucking loves boys to men. <laughs> 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 that nigga is, yo, boys to men. That's that nigga's fucking hero, man. So if y'all watching this, man, come sing at a show or some shit or something, man. Pop up at the show. Pop up at the show, I'll let him. It's all these rappers, all these rappers in the van, and, and Dave driving it to Donnell Jones. I'm like, nigga, nigga, nigga crazy. Hey, it's about five niggas in the car. <laughs> it's deep. All, it's all niggas. Now, you got a nigga with a backpack with a gun in his shit. <laughs> he like we rolling the fucking this uh. High, this high ride. It's so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dane though, man. I'll ride for that nigga any day. Dane, what's up? Word up. Really appreciate that. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> Yo, man, that was dope. 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 Oh man, I might have fucked up. Oh uh, man, looks like you might have. Oh no. We'll see what happens. Oh.